boys told me that they wanted to make a wheelchair that can go absolutely anywhere. As you can see, we're having a few problems in the mud. Stop! So I brought them to the place where they can have a look at the ultimate all-terrain vehicle. That's what we're here for. You know, get a little floating head on the stage. No, you're levitating. No, I'm not levitating. You're levitating. No, no, no. Excuse me, I am not levitating, you no. are. No, I'm not, because you see, it's I'm your not. invention, no, little floating not. Ed. I'm not. going to be brilliant. I'm not. Absolutely brilliant. Floating Ed, not do it. floating I'm Ed, heavy. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Go on, he's ready, he's ready for you. What was it, what are you doing? It is, they're sawing in half. No, <laughs> no, no. We're doing the floaty thing, not the cutting in half thing. Oh, the levitation? Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Why do you need to use compressed air? That's a good question, that, mate. The reason is, is that if you take a, a mouthful of air when you're at the yeah. surface and dive down, the pressure increases as you dive down because of all the, all the water around you, right? So you take the amount of air you breathe in at the surface and dive right down, it's going to squish. I've got a great experiment, but I need a bottle. Come on. Bottle, the air inside, it's just like the air in your lungs. And this is what happens when you go underwater. This is it, the moment of truth. We've taken two young rockers, Ed and Joe. We've taken one fantastic invention, a virtual air guitar, and we're here on a stage in the middle of London's West End. It's time to rock it up! <laughs> Do you know who Newton is? Yes, I think Newton discovered gravity. He knows his stuff. Yeah, he looked at a falling apple, didn't he, and worked out gravity. Pull that up, shake it, shake it, stand back! <laughs> there you go, that time. That was cola and gas going out in that direction with a little toy going that direction, right? Exactly the same with your rocket. Rocket on top, that way. Bed, <laughs> that way. <laughs> so, Rona, we know it's going to be quite difficult to take those complicated movements of the horse put them into the robotic horse. Three options, hydraulics, pneumatics, or mechanics. Pneumatics. This is a big cylinder of air, right? You squash the cylinder of air and it gives you loads and loads of power. In fact, it's how these cameras work. Thanks, Cindy. The problem with the pneumatics is it always has to be connected to an air supply. Yeah. Hydraulics. Instead of a cylinder of air, it's a cylinder of oil. Up it comes, loads and loads of power. Quite a complicated system and very, very heavy. Mechanics. This is a big motor which powers all the legs. You know how you made me run around? Yeah? So guess who's going to make the next one? <laughs> Yoo-hoo with the poo-hoo. Some poo-hoo for you. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can laugh hysterically, but this poo has got your name on it. Here we go. Take that, please, sir. And squish. 